It's shocking video showing the heart-stopping moment. A helicopter spirals out of control and crashes seconds after taking off from a building's rooftop in the heart of Medellin, Colombia. The flight offered as part of a dining experience by a local restaurant, crashing into a building, leaving the helicopter lodged between the structure and a cell phone tower. On board, five passengers and the pilot, all of them surviving. First responders pleading with the passengers not to move as they desperately work to pull them out from the teetering chopper. Francisco Salas was inside. The Texas native lives in Colombia and managed to take out his cell phone, recording what he thought was his final goodbye. Dad, Hello. I just got in a helicopter crash. I'm stuck in a building and I'm really high up. I love you. And I just want to say thank you so much for, for taking me under your wing, Dad. I love you. I just thought, okay, this is how I die. This is how I die. This is how I die. Next to him was his girlfriend, Luisa Osorio. The couple says they were on board with the intention of recording content for their social media channels. But just seconds after takeoff, things took a horrific turn. I was waiting for the impact, and the impact came, and we were still alive. And you could hear the, the engine turning off, but the rotor still going, and it was just... It was a shock. Sala says the pilot immediately jumped out before local residents and the Medellin Fire Department rushed to the scene, using several cranes to remove the helicopter from the site. God's going to save us. I know it. I know God's going to save us. For almost three hours, Sala says he did his best to keep himself and the others calm. I said, but we're perfectly wedged here. You guys cannot move, and we got to wait for help. And then maybe like 90 seconds later, somebody came. I really just felt that if I didn't keep the positive energy, that that negative energy, I don't know, maybe it causes people to freak out and someone does something that risks us all. Miraculously, only one person was rushed to the hospital and treated for a leg fracture and lacerations. Local authorities suspending all helicopter flights as they investigate the reason for the crash. I'm very blessed to have lived a life so far, aside from getting on a helicopter ever again, I wouldn't change anything about my life. Maybe just tell, tell people how much I feel about them and what they mean to me. That survivor, Francisco, says he is thankful to be alive, but he says he does blame the business Hangar 45 for negligence. And Tom, he says he does plan to sue the company. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.